What's going on? Nick here from virtualassistantassistant.com. Today, joined by Jeffrey Binney. He's the director of operations for delegated.com, which is a new but also not so new outsourcing service, virtual assistant service. They've actually taken over the long running Red Butler virtual concierge service and have added a few more um, services to the menu over there. So excited to dive into uh, delegated and see what it's all about. But uh, Jeffrey, let me uh, hand it over to you. Maybe you can give us the uh, the elevator pitch or the uh, intro to Delegated. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we've like you mentioned, we've been around for ages. Um, but at, at the end of the day, um, we are a great place to delegate um, all of those uh, things from your to-do list that uh, have been on your to-do list for a little bit too long. Uh, we're a, a team of college educated uh, US-based uh, virtual assistants. Um, all of our team have at least five years of experience in an executive admin position. We work with a number of uh, medical offices, uh, law firms, so especially for busy professionals, for uh, small businesses who are looking for front and back office support, someone to delegate those, those things that, that can be done by someone else. Uh, we're a great fit. Okay, so you're rattling off uh, some of the uh, competitive advantages, five years uh, of experience um, on the assistant front, uh, college educated, US based. And do you have a sense of, I mean, you I imagine rolling over some clients from the Red Butler days, but like on the delegated side, have you found a sweet spot of who the ideal customer is yet? We weren't expecting to find such an interesting niche, but uh, one great example is the uh, financial sector. Um, we uh, have LPL and uh, New York Life certified uh, assistants, uh, and that doesn't mean anything to a lot of people, but if you live in the financial world, um, it turned out that was a huge advantage for us. And that's one area where we're finding um, a really, really nice little niche that we're fitting into well. Same with medical offices, uh, handling intake forms, uh, general inquiries, um, that's turned into a real sweet spot for us. Okay. You know, we still work with busy, busy moms, um, uh, you know, uh, all, all types, but that's definitely where we've seen our most, uh, most dramatic recent growth. Okay, so there is still this um, element of personal assistance. Like, look, you're just a busy person. You need help with, you know, running errands and all this stuff. If we can do it remotely, we'll definitely handle that for you. But still having this kind of like business uh, focus or small business or medical office, uh, law practice, financial services. Like, okay, we're gonna we're gonna plug in a uh, qualified remote person into this process, and they can just take it off of our off of our plate. Now, is there a a call center in Salt Lake someplace that everybody is working from. It's fully distributed. How does how's the team look? Yeah, I know we're a fully remote, fully distributed team. Uh, we're all U.S. based, but from East Coast to West Coast, uh, we have uh, our team spread out. Uh, our leadership team gets together at least once a month, but other, otherwise we're we're 100. Uh, sorry, once a year. Uh, otherwise, we're we're completely remote and always have been. Actually, we have always been a completely distributed team. That seems to be the way of the world, and the the pandemic is perhaps just an inflection point. Uh, yeah, on that trend it's, it right has. Now. Yeah, it's been interesting during COVID nineteen because it's been such an adjustment for so many of my friends to work from home, but. Here I am on my sofa, uh, per the usual. Yeah, here's this is how we do it. I'm very grateful to be able uh, to work from home, as I imagine your assistants your assistants are uh, as well. And I see on delegated.com plans ranging from just three four hours a week all the way up to hey, if you need somebody full time, we can do that too. Do you find that there's a a sweet spot that most new customers are are coming to you for? Yeah, I would say most customers are coming in at our 12 to 25 hour per month uh, range. They often upgrade, but if people are on the fence, we uh, maybe counterintuitively suggest that they start with the lower plan. First of all, there's a, 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 some period of, a, of ramp up, whether it's a few days or a couple months. Um, there's a period of ramp up and we would would, would rather people uh, begin needing more time. You can always upgrade. 
uh, but we don't want anyone to lose their time. So we always uh, suggest that people start with the lower option yeah. if they're on the fence. That being said, we have a number of, of enterprise clients um, and a lot of them are from uh, Northern California in the Bay Area, they're tech companies, um, and they utilize us to provide support across uh, multiple multiple teams. Um, and again, for them, the huge perk is, is the, the low overhead. Um, you know, we're handling uh, pay, we're handling uh, benefits, um, all, you know, all of that other stuff. And for, you know, these larger tech companies, um, you, you know, even they're seeing a huge, a huge advantage. Okay. So these enterprise customers are saying, hey, rather than having kind of an on an in-house research or concierge or, you know, kind of employee provide, I don't even know how to describe it, but like, hey, look, as an employee benefit, you have access to this service instead, just task them with whatever isn't kind of in your core wheelhouse for your department. It's an interesting way to go about it. Now, for me, as an individual business owner, like I say, okay, this sounds good. I go to sign up. Is there, you know, an onboarding questionnaire? Like kind of these are the these are kind of the the tasks or the roles that I would envision this assistant doing. Can you match me up with someone? Is there an interview process? What what does kind of the client onboarding look like? Yeah, so it varies a bit. For our enterprise clients, because they're hiring full time, um, they're involved in the hiring process because that is a direct hire for their contract. So, so they're involved in that. For the majority of our, our non-enterprise clients or the majority of our clients who are non enterprise clients. Um, there's, there's first an opportunity for them to speak with our team before they sign up, and we highly encourage that. It's really important for us to understand what everyone is looking for uh, before uh, you know, we can give them a great solution and pair them with a great assistant. Uh, and that being said, there are limitations of the virtual environment. You know, if someone were to come to us and say, hey, I need, I need you to go pick up these three items every day from these places in Philadelphia uh, and then physically go mail some things, that is one limitation. Um, but I would say 97, 98% of the tasks that clients uh, come to us for are, are things that can be done uh, remotely. So uh, we'll always have that first initial call. And then once we've decided it's a good fit, they've signed up for a plan. Uh, depending on their time zone, we have teams in each time zone. Uh, depending on their time zone preference and the type of work they'll be doing and what industry they're in, uh, we'll pair them with the, the best uh, assistant. Okay, yeah, uh, a friend of mine is a, is a customer in San Diego and he said, hey, my assistant is up in Seattle. She's She's been yeah. awesome. So they were, they're still working the West Coast time. Now I see on uh, delegated.com kind of a list of services offered. And like you said, it's, you know, anything pretty much, um, you know, unless it goes out, involves going out and physically picking items. Uh, a, big, a lot of it can be done remotely. And so I see stuff like bookkeeping and uh, e-commerce or Amazon support, uh, real estate, virtual assistants, social media, stuff like that. Is there a particular service that has like risen up. I don't know, like if that, if I'm phrasing that right, but um, something that more clients tend to uh, turn to you for than 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 others. Yeah, I think um, general um, uh, inquiries and inbox management. Uh, you know, managing their. Um, their law firm's general inquiry inbox and phone line. Um, fielding those initial inquiries is, is something that a lot of people are looking for. Um, uh, that's why we've broken our reception service out okay. away from our RVA service. Uh, it has just seen explosive growth. Um, uh, so that's 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 one area. I think for for our executives, especially like the enterprise executives, uh, calendaring is huge. Someone to manage their calendar, someone to organize and orchestrate uh, events. Uh, you know, there are times that you, you know they'll be scheduling an event with ten other people. Coordinating those schedules is is a full time job, and that's a, a huge, uh, huge uh, thing that our assistants spend a lot of time yeah. on. Yeah. I can, I can imagine. And then, you know, part of that comes with the experience of having done it for three, four, five years uh, in advance, because it is, it seems somewhat simple, but at the other time, like, ah, there's a lot of nuance that goes into uh, a lot of this 
a lot of this type of work. So yeah, well, and it's shocking how easy it is to mess up a, a calendar invite, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the same thing with the inbox management, where it's like, yeah, it's, I mean, it's it can be very very personal. Um, <laughs> some of that stuff, and it can be very personal um, on the delegator side to like kind of open the curtain, as it were, to say like, well, here's here's what's going on. Uh, I could really use some help with this stuff. Um, now, aside from 100%. the um, in-person tasks that are not a good fit. Um, any other, I don't know, you don't need to name names or anything, but like client horror stories where just like this was not a good fit. Uh, one thing we, 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 we don't do is creative work. Um, so that's one reason that we, uh, and when I say creative work, I mean um, like copywriting or designing social media assets, uh, things like that. Uh, okay. Subjective work that would typically uh, be done by someone at a much higher rate uh, with, which, uh, with a, a much more specialized skill level. Now we can help people uh, find a graphic designer. We can help people find a copywriter. Um, but I think that is probably the, the thing that we run into the most. Uh, we try to make it super clear where the line is on what we can and can't do around that. Um, but that's one thing that that, that will catch us up once in a while. Okay. And it's I a dedicated also, um, point of contact, a dedicated assistant. Like, so once, once I go through this onboarding process, you say, hey, based on what you've told us, I think we've got somebody who is a great fit. Here's their number. Here's their email. You have at it. Yeah, so the, their, their assistant, once assigned, will actually reach out to them immediately to schedule an onboarding call. Um, that first call is typically around an hour. It's a get to know you call. It's a logistics call to, to set up access to, to systems that, that are required. Uh, sometimes there's specialized training. Um, you know, there, when we're hiring, we always uh, emphasize uh, not having uh, knowledge of tons of different software systems, but instead having the ability to quickly learn new software systems and typically dive into to, to new processes. Because we couldn't possibly find a team of assistants who know how to use every CRM, uh, you know, and so the, the ability to quickly learn and dive in is, is a, a huge part of what we look for in our team members. So you'll hear from your dedicated assistant, they'll, they'll set up that first call, um, and you'll also be interest, uh, introduced to your backup assistant. So you'll have a backup assistant who will, number one, provide backup coverage should your assistant be slammed and need, need a, a hand. And then they'll also uh, cover for your assistant when they go on vacation uh, for their sick days. So even when you don't have your dedicated assistant, uh, you can rest assured that you'll have someone that you know, who knows your accounts that you've met and worked with. Um, so I guess, I guess in a sense, you're getting one and a half assistants, okay. <laughs> I guess is one way to look at it. Which is a big advantage of hiring through a third party service like Delegated versus going on Upwork or trying to find a freelancer. It's like, there's no backup. <laughs> if this person leaves, like it's, it's game over for you. It's back to the drawing board. Um, in, your, in your take, any other points of differentiation between virtual time, et cetera, Belay, like any of these other big uh, players in the U.S. market? I think uh, one one big differentiator is our, um, our our hiring process and especially uh, our team and how we compensate our team. All of our team are full time employees. Um, most of our competitors are using 1099 uh, employees um, and or uh, contractors, and uh, that's not the case at Delegated. Uh, beyond that, we have a really strong. I've I've been leading remote teams for for years, and you know one challenge of a remote team is cultivating and maintaining a company culture. And it's really important to us that our team feels connected, is is happy, and is enjoying their work, feels like they have a growth path forward. So. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't want to name names, but we have a number of team members who have come from competitors and um, we've, we've been really pleased to get really positive feedback from them. So I, I, I think uh, without question that our, 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 our company culture uh, shines through in the services we provide, maybe in slightly intangible ways, um, but uh, hopefully your, your, your delegated assistant will be just uh, a little more cheerful 
a little more uh, fulfilled and happy and ready to help than 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 assistance from some of, some of our competitors. Oh, very cool. Appreciate you sharing that. Appreciate you sharing kind of the inside scoop on how Delegated works. Make sure to check out the Delegated profile page on virtualassistantassistant.com for some real life customer reviews. And make sure to check below this video for any special offers that may be available to you as a virtual assistant assistant visitor. Jeffrey, thank you so much. And we'll catch up with you soon. Yeah, thanks for having me.